Hi, I'm Gail and welcome back to LowCarbRecipeIdeas.com. Well, Thanksgiving is just around the corner and I thought we have pumpkins growing everywhere. We better do a pumpkin um, dessert of some sort. So we're going to do a low carb pumpkin muffin filled with cream cheese. It's delicious and I think you're really going to enjoy it. So let's get started. So we're going to divide this um, into two parts and we're going to do the batter first. So the first thing we're going to add is two cups of almond flour. Three tablespoons of coconut flour. And we're going to add two teaspoons of pumpkin spice. And actually, I think I'll just grab that so that you can see that um, you can buy a pumpkin spice. This is by Clubhouse, so you can use that. And there's other brands you could use also. Now we're going to add in two teaspoons of baking powder. I try using the aluminum-free baking powder. It's healthier than, than the other kind. I get it at the bulk barn in Canada here and we're going to add a quarter teaspoon of salt. If you heard that noise my husband's working downstairs I'm not sure if you heard that or not and then I've got a half a cup of powdered erythritol. You can use xylitol also you can use other sweeteners but um, erythritol is my favorite. My body has adjusted to xylitol so I use it. I don't have any animals in the house anymore. Um, but uh, and, and xylitol is a little cheaper than erythritol. But I try and use you know erythritol at the most. So I'm going to work at just breaking this up because my powdered erythritol has been sitting in a container, a cookie jar. So I've got some lumps, so I'll just work on that a little bit. And we'll just mix everything up together. So I'm going to set that aside. And I'm going to bring out another bowl for my wet ingredients. And I'm going to be adding in a half a cup of pumpkin puree. Now this is actually fresh pumpkin. And what I've done is I've got a whole bunch in the freezer now so I can have, you know, nice pumpkin desserts in uh, winter time, which is really awesome to have. And we're going to add in two large eggs. And I'm just going to mix these up a little bit. silly me, I was supposed to do the butter first and cream it, make it nice and fluffy, and I forgot to do it. So, I'm just going to add it to this and hopefully it's not too cold that I'm going to have my butter curdle on me. It'll all work out in the long run anyway, but it's nicer if I had it all fluffed. So I put in a quarter cup of soft butter. Okay, I'm going to use my blender. I apologize for that because that's not what I should have done from the get-go. So we're just going to mix this all in. I got a little bit of butter on my spatula, so I'm just getting it on the beater. Okay, so now we're going to add in our dry ingredients. We all make little boo-boos when we're baking, and I'm sure I'm not the only one. Okay, so let's add in 
um, a quarter cup of unsweetened almond milk or almond beverage. Now the one I am using is this one here. It's a Kirkland, it's from Costco and the carb counts amazing. It um, is for one cup it's looking so hard I can't see it. 40 calories and the carb count is one gram and one gram of fiber. So you can't go wrong with that and it's actually very very nice. And we're going to add in half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So, going to add in the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients and we'll mix it really well. Now when you're working with coconut flour you have to make sure there's enough liquid in the batter so that uh, the coconut flour it just soaks up all the moisture it possibly can and we don't want a dry muffin so I'll just mix this up nicely there we go I'm just gonna let it sit for a few minutes and let it soak up some of the moisture and then I'll stir it again while the batter is just sitting and absorbing some of the liquids or whatever I'm going to make the filling so I have six ounces of cream cheese and I'm just going to whip it up. Now we'll add in three tablespoons of powdered erythritol. A tablespoon of heavy cream and a half a teaspoon of vanilla. A little bit in the, the bowl there. Okay, so I'm going to clean off my beaters because I don't want to waste it and then we will start putting everything together. So I'm just going to set that aside. I've got my batter here that I'm just going to give it a one more stir to make sure all is good. And then I've got my muffin tins and I use the silicone. I just love them. Everything pops out. It's so much easier. Um, you can buy the parchment paper ones. So what I've done is I put batter in the bottom and then I took my spoons and I just kind of made a little divot in there, a little hole so I can put my cream cheese in. So I'm going to put a plop of cream cheese in each one. I'll continue doing that and then we're going to add batter back into the top. So it works out to be approximately um, maybe a tablespoon in each one. I'm just trying to use up what I have left over here. These are delicious. You're really going to enjoy them. There we go. So now we're going to continue on. I like using two teaspoons to, to um, put everything in here. 
So we put the batter on top of each one. Cover up the cream cheese. And I'll continue doing this. And then we're going to have some great muffins when we get them out of the oven. Okay, I'll continue and I'll be back with you in a minute. So they're going to go into the oven, the middle rack, for 20 minutes at 350. Perfect. These smell delicious. So here is my low carb pumpkin muffin filled with sweet cream cheese. So delicious. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Very nice. Great for Thanksgiving. I hope you give this a try. Go to lowcarbrecipeideas.com, try this recipe and try some of my other ones. You take care and I'll see you soon. Bye now.